Hey, it's Les with Judson Vacuum. Got some new improvements on the Little Giant heater I'd like to share with everybody. And actually, it's a customer that came up from Texas to get a system installed named George Bright. He also does HVAC. And he turned me on to this at nighter for the Little Giant heater. Uh, you know, the Little Giant heater, we have to light them with a lighter. Or they have a little uh, striker that's on them. And uh, a lot of times the pilot light will burn, uh, go out. You know, something needs to be addressed. It's not a major problem. So let me just show you what George Bright has uh, showed us. And it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, I guess Jack shut the door, let it get dark so these guys can see the pilot light. I got a heater set up here with the uh, burner ring out of it. Now Jack just left the door down. Now see, there's the pilot light. Okay. One side of the pilot light excuse me, one side is reading over on the thermal couple, which that's the safety. If the pilot light goes out, the thermal couple cools off, shuts the main gas valve down, and it won't put in raw fuel. This side, the left side, actually chain reacts. It's in front of a nozzle, as you can see, and that fires the next nozzle and the next nozzle, and it just chain reacts all the way real fast is how it lights the heater. Now, uh, Jack is gonna, we're gonna blow air on here, so he's got a fan. So we're gonna put a fan on it, which is way more air than will ever be in use. So put the fan down there. So he can actually blow it out by coming in. There, blew out the hit pot like, see that? Now, the thermocouple is still warm right now. And sometimes if you pull the trigger and it, it, it turns the main gas valve on and the pot light's not lit and the thermocouple has not cooled down, which only takes about 30 seconds, uh, it can put raw gas in there and cause it to poof. All right, now I'm going to plug in this electric device here, the, the uh, silicone nitrite uh, igniter. It's electric. Uh, you'll see it glow there. Let's see, it's off right here, Jay. Okay, hang on. Hold on one second. Okay. See it relight the pilot light? So the silicone nitrite just lit it. Now Jack put it back on there and let me show you. It just glows all the time. And he's gonna try to blow it out again and it will now let go. And you see it relit it. Go do it again, Jack. Blow it out. It went out and it just now relit it. Now, let me show you this. I'm going to use a, a heat gun here and I'm going to blow it out and let it do it real fast. It's out, on. Out, on. Out, on. Out, on. Look how fast it relights that pilot light. I'm blowing it out, on. Unbelievable how fast it does it. So that's the silicone nitrite. Igniter. It's real simple. It just has it's a 12 volt system. It does not draw hardly any amps. It draws like you know one fourth of one amp. And it just glows the whole time. It's 3,200 degrees and it relights the pilot light. Amazing what I just showed you. So we're uh, we're gonna let George Bright uh, prototype this for us. It's his idea. We do appreciate it, George. And uh, we're gonna send this heater to him. And he's going to run it in Texas, and uh, I think we'll start putting these on all the Judson units. Uh, this will be exclusive from Judson. Now, like I say, Judson designed, basically designed the little giant heater since 1968. Originally, it was designed to circulate water for a baptism and a church.